Welcome back, guys, and this is Life with Steve. And guys, we are here again with another reaction video. Guys, I'm super, super excited for this one because today we're going to be listening to Hall and Oates. And the song is called You Make My Dreams. All right, guys, with that being said, I let the video play all the way through, and then I give my comments at the end. So, guys, I need you to sit back, relax, and watch me react. something and I, I know i'm putting my foot in my mouth I, I already know this and i just gotta say i gotta be real with the people you know growing up i i knew of hall and Oates, you know um a i'm an 80s baby so i got to hear some of these songs growing up and b i have an older brother who loves hall and Oates. um now this is the thing i realized about them like, I, I already realized the obvious that these guys are talented, the, the, the vocals are off the chain, they have great music. You know, I know the obvious that is sitting there right in front of my face. The thing that I didn't know it, that I didn't know um, is, before I started doing reaction, if you were to say, you know, name me some Hall & Oates song. My favorite song by them, to me, for me, is Sarah Smile. So I'll always name that one first. And then I'll name a couple of songs. <clears throat> but the thing that I realized is these dudes have a lot of hits. Like as, as now that I am, I went through and I've listened to a couple of their songs. I realized how many hits they had, 
have, how many hits they have, how diverse they are with the music, and how they have lasted the test of time. Because, like, when I listen to Hall and Oaks, um, I can listen to Hall and Oaks in the 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010, and it still sounds good. You know, like, they have generational music. Like, you have some people that they make a certain song for a certain year or a certain decade, and it just, it just fits that era. But it doesn't translate to generations, you know, like, you know, it might translate to your, your grandparents, but it doesn't translate to your mom or it doesn't translate to you. These guys made it transver translation to universal to all generations. Like, like I'm sitting here, I'm listening to them. I've noticed, I'm going to talk about this song right here, but it really speaks about their other songs too. Like, I've noticed that their music, meaning the sound, is always on point. I noticed the lyrics and the vocals are always on point. And the videos, the videos are on point and they always match. They kind of match the energy of the song. Well, they do actually match the energy of the song. You know, like I, I, I like I say, I always knew about Hall and Oates, but I'm really, really seeing who these guys are. And this is why I love about doing reactions is because for me, I know there are, there are reactors who are younger than me who um, have no clue who Hall and Oates are and some of the people that I'm reacting to. And for me, it's like, I know who they are. I've seen them. I um, heard a couple of their songs, but I, I was, I'm in the spot where I didn't realize how much they did and how much they meant for music. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like the kids today. I give, oh, this is a prime example right here. It's like the kids today who grew up watching LeBron James, you know? Watching LeBron James, loving LeBron James, giving LeBron James the GOAT title, you know? And then when you go to talk about the kids who say, you know, when you go to talk about Michael Jordan, those kids, they might, they probably seen Michael Jordan, you know? They seen the older Michael Jordan. They might even see the, the Washington Wizard Michael Jordan. But they haven't seen, you know, the Michael Jordan back in the day, you know, 23 flying through the sky doing his thing. And then all of a sudden they go back and they watch those old bull films and tapes and whatever. And they realize, oh my God, I didn't realize Michael Jordan was as good as he was, you know? And I know that's probably kind of lame the way I said that too, because, you know, Michael Jordan's great. <laughs> but, you know, when you're trying to compare him to LeBron, you might be like, you know, I kind of got off subject there, <laughs> and I'm, I'm absolutely sorry. That went nowhere. But what I'm trying to say is I realize how great these guys are, and I love their music. I love the way they vibe together. I I just, I just I, I always love Hall & Oates. I, I put it like this. I always like Hall & Oates, but now I really love Hall & Oates. Like, I'm a fan of Hall & Oates. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just leaving right there. All right, guys, with that being said, I've done a couple of reactions to them, so please check those out, and please give me more reaction to do by dropping some comments down below. And on top of that, if you love any music, if you love any reaction, more importantly, if you love this music, make sure you go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and come back here tomorrow when we'll be doing another reaction video. Who am I going to be reacting to? I don't know. That's up to you guys. Drop those comments down below. All right, guys, I'm about to get out of here and film another video. So with that being said, guys, when you see this little face, I need you to sit back, relax, and watch me react. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Take off, take off.